And well, this morning, the Supreme Court could hand down one of the most significant decisions in generations. With, at, within hours, we should hear the High Court's opinion on the constitutionality of laws banning gay marriage. Devin Dwyer is in Washington this morning with a look at what we can expect on this last day of the Supreme Court session. A landmark day for the meaning of marriage. Today, the Supreme Court could decide whether state and federal marriage laws that exclude gay and lesbian couples are constitutional. In the spotlight, California's Proposition 8, which defines marriage as only between one man and one woman. The decision could affect a single state or even establish a right to marry nationwide. Its impact closely watched by some 40,000 children being raised by gay couples in California alone. We look forward to the day when we will be treated equally, just like our neighbors' families. The justices will also rule on the Federal Defense of Marriage Act and whether the government can deny tax and entitlement benefits to same-sex couples who are already wed. Supporters of a traditional definition of marriage say it serves a vital social interest. When the God of the Bible created the institution, he didn't get our advice on it, he defined it. It's a high stakes ending to an already controversial term. Yesterday, a divided court struck down part of the 1965 Voting Rights Act as out of date and unconstitutional. The law had required federal election monitoring in several southern states with a history of discrimination. We have come to register to vote. Congress must ensure the law speaks to current conditions, said Chief Justice John Roberts. But civil rights leaders say memories of segregation are still too fresh. What the Supreme Court did was to put a dagger in the very heart of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. However the court decides on marriage today, more states are allowing gay couples to wed. This summer, Rhode Island, Delaware, and Minnesota will perform their first same-sex marriages.